so i already did the other thing other side um but i'm going to show you all what i'm doing to get rid of my check engine light after taking those off um turn my light on here they're called spark plug defoulers let me get underneath here ow i hit my head on the frame Whew, felt fun them things right there i'll show you all what all goes into them they're about eight bucks a package and you need two of them per package um and uh y'all need that big of a drill bit let me show you what size i think i took it out of the package in here uh i don't know i'll find it though put it in the link or in the description you see is that it no nope. all right get these right here this is also on a 2004 dodger m1500 57 18 millimeter and i'll show y'all what y'all got to do to get this ready to go so since i ain't got a vice i'm gonna do this the most redneck way possible i'm gonna use this give me just a sec let's see how this goes i'm gonna try to drill right into that through there make that bigger hole do not hit the threads i'm gonna try to prop it up a little bit so y'all can try to see it um hopefully y'all can kind of see that we'll see I got it the majority of the way there before it lost grip do not try from this side I tried from this side the other side and it kept on catching and throwing out so I'm gonna keep drilling from this side man that is a warm piece of metal Whew, hot all right so I got my hole drilled out there at the end I had to flip it around from it being this way drilling to this side because in my circumstance it was hitting the freaking ground um, but I had it majority of the way drilled out, so whenever I started drilling from this side, I just busted through it, didn't tear nothing up. Um, so what we do now is we mosey on over here. We grab the other one, which well, frick, right? I lay it down. All right, found it. <laughs> anyway, so um, trying to give you all the best way of seeing this. So basically, your spark plug is going to slide into this one right here. Or not spark plug, H2O, H2O sensor is going to slide into this one right here, not H2O. You guys know what I mean. This right here, it's going to slide into this, and this is going to bolt in to this here. And then this is going to bolt into the exhaust. I'll show you what that looks like. So it bolts in together like that, right there. Alright, then to tighten them down, I'm going to grab one side with this and the other side with a socket and tighten them together real good. All right, there's, I got them put together right here. Let's get underneath the truck. We gotta undo that right there. So I'm gonna get back to y'all when I got that unscrewed because it's probably gonna suck. Alrighty, I got that pulled out. So now I'm gonna screw that end into this end here. And then we're gonna screw that end into the exhaust. Don't forget, you're gonna need your ratchet and your wrench using a pipe wrench same difference so that you can tighten this part down to this part and then this part into the exhaust all right it's put in there time to start it up and see if it works all right no check engine light i had to run down there and clear the code off sometimes you may sometimes you won't it depends on how new your system is my truck is an 04 i guess you got to go and clear them but i cleared them off there we go works <laughs> 